thanks, Lee. I'm here at Baysmore Hyder Stadium on the campus of Valdosta State University. And the field is pretty quiet right now, but earlier it was a buzz with young football players learning the skills of the game from the players of the Valdosta State team. The Valdosta State football team shifted their focus Saturday from celebrating last season's national title to celebrating the start of a brand new season. The team hosted Meet the Blazers Day at Baysmore Hyder Stadium, also known as Death Valley, due to the success of Valdosta High School. After a quick pep talk from Blazers head coach David Dean, kids attending the event broke off to a variety of drills. Most of the girls at the event made their way to the West End Zone to learn cheer and dance drills from the Valdosta State cheerleading squad. Some girls, and most if not all of the boys, rotated between various football drills, practicing just like the big boy Blazers do. Coach Dean says he feels it's important for the team to give back to the community. The community does so much for us. We survive on, on the, the support of our community, you know, financially and then sitting uh, in the stands and cheering us on. So for us to have an opportunity to give back to the community, to say thank you to the kids for coming to the game, say thank you to the parents for bringing them out, that means a lot to us. After the drills were done, the kids got to experience entering the field the same way the Blazers do on game day, running through the tunnel and onto the field through two lines of cheerleaders, meeting the players at the center of the field. After that, they all left the field and headed to the stadium concourse, where the players and cheerleaders autographed shirts and posters. It was an exciting way to prepare for the kickoff to Valdosta State's title defense next week. The Blazers will face Fort Valley State in the 2013 Macon Heritage Football Classic. Coach Dean is excited for the opportunity to play in this special game. There's a lot of alumni in the Macon area. Uh, it's close for the Atlanta folks to come down and, and watch us play. So playing in the central part of the state is always exciting, but getting an opportunity to open up with somebody as an in-state rival and playing uh, another college from, from the state of Georgia is always exciting for us. The coach says inconsistency and injuries have been concerns, ones that he hopes to address by game day. We got to have some consistency. Right now we have good practices and then we'll follow it up with a, a very average practice. So what we lack right now is consistency. We've got to get some guys well going into the next week's game. Uh, we're awfully beat up, so we're going to back off a little bit in our hitting and, and hopefully uh, get a little bit more healthy going into that game. So as you can see, a lot of buzz, a lot of fun and excitement as the Blazers get ready to kick off their defense of last year's national championship. Next Saturday, the Blazers are going to be heading to Macon, Georgia to take on Fort Valley State and the Macon Heritage Football Classic. And there's a lot of excitement here for that defense to get underway. Reporting live from Baysmore Hyder Stadium, Sean Fowler reporting.